to my YouTube channel. So today we are at Ultraflex Rotherham. I have a upper session uh, on the card today. So it's my second rotation of my upper session. Um, mainly like shoulders and back focus. Um, so I'm gonna take you through it, kind of show you um, what has worked for me in terms of the progressions that I've made. Uh, we've still got a long way to go with these little baby shoulders, but they are growing. Um, and yeah, just kind of take you through the exercises and give you a little bit of an insight into how they've helped me progress. Um, so my logbook is all written out and ready to go. Um, this is my intro for um, today's session. Same as always, um, JP Performance Fuel, Complete Strength EAAs, and five grams of creatine. So we'll be drinking that, try and get it done like before the, about halfway to have drank it all. And then if I need any water, then obviously I'll just top up for hydration. Um, so yeah, bit of warm up and mobility to start with as always, and then we'll get into it. So also gonna do a little bit of posing after the session. I've got my bikini with me and my heels. Um, I'll make the most of having the opportunity to get in the posing room here at Ultraflex Rotherham and just kind of have a, a little play around with posing. I uh, did my checking this morning, so it's probably quite a good day to pose because I've already kind of seen what I look like. So, um, yeah. tension doesn't drop off as you bring your arm down so that constant tension is there. Um, things that I've been working on personally with this exercise is keeping my shoulder internally rotated and my elbow and my wrist stacked. Um, not always getting it spot on but we keep, we keep trying to get it better and better. Obviously when you are performing an exercise it's not just about moving the weight from A to B. You want to make sure that form is as tight as possible because that is going to give you that actual stimulus for the muscle you're trying to work rather than just like moving it any which way. Um, that can work to a point, but especially if you're training a longer time, you need to get that precision and that execution of the form box like bang on. It doesn't always happen. relationship with this because 
I feel like I nail the form and I get it right and then I lose it again the next time. So it's a constant work in progress. I know what I should be doing, but it doesn't always happen. So we're looking for almost like in a hinge movement with your hips, but keeping your chest up. Don't let, not letting my rib cage sink, letting my shoulder completely go and then driving my elbow down into the pocket of my hip really looking for the full range of motion and I think all of that together I nail one thing and then maybe let the other slip so it's a bit of like a well I have to really concentrate basically um, but like that's training like if you nailed it all the time and you were perfect at everything then yes there's room to progress in like terms of getting stronger but actually nailing the form is something that I really enjoy and like keep working on um, I think for me, like obviously I was a dancer before I was a bodybuilder and like something like ballet is, is a little similar to this in terms of like there's always room for improvement, there's always improvements to be made in your technique, so yeah, we keep going. notes to myself in my logbook so that when I come to it next time and I think oh that's how many reps I got I also got a little like reminder of what happened so there's a big question mark next to the word form because I think it wasn't quite right so I need to really not push through a rep progression next time and push for better form. was a bit better like my back offset obviously lighter weight um, but I think almost like now I've done the first one and I could come almost see where my form wasn't like where it needs to be in the second one second set it's like right work on those bits that you knew were off that's half the battle knowing that you're doing something wrong could be blissfully training thinking I was like perfect but at least if you know you're doing things wrong, you can correct them. So I said that to my clients, like being self-aware, like it's so important. Like, yes, you might not be getting everything bang on, but the fact that you can pick that up and notice, that's as much as the, that's half the battle. Um, so this is like my big, compound movement in this session I suppose like one of my big compound movements in terms of shoulders and um, my alternative movement in my other session is a dumbbell shoulder press so now I've got a shoulder, machine shoulder press on the smith things that I've been working on um, not overextending my wrist because obviously that's going to put a lot of pressure on your wrist and then with any shoulder movement not bringing my arms out too wide keeping everything in line with my rib cage my ribs for me are a big sticking point I seem to I open up my rib cage all the time and I need to try and crunch down on it and keep it nice and tight. Bracing in these big lifts is something that is a bit of a work in progress for me as well, like my breathing. Obviously breathing when you're lifting is going to be massively helpful if you can get your breath uh, in line with what you're trying to do. Breathing 
out on the harder movements and in on the like the control down, but it's very tempting to like hold your breath. So just all the things to work on. wrist wraps on this exercise not because like I'm shifting a lot of weight and I need to but it's more of like a cue for myself for the thing I spoke about with my wrists I find that it helps it might be a psychological thing I don't know but we're wearing them
delts. Um, this, I love this exercise. I used to struggle with it, but now I really enjoy it. I think as soon as I kind of got past the sticking point and kind of started seeing the progression, I really, really like it and I, and I feel uh, exactly where I'm meant to. Um, things that I'm thinking about in this are almost keeping like my shoulders like wrapped around the front of the pad. So you don't want to have any retraction in your shoulders and then not bringing your arms out too wide, uh, too far. You see people on this machine bringing their arms way behind themselves and you don't want to do that at all. Nice and controlled, holding, I'm holding for a count in the beginning and a count at the outer range as well. Um, but I really, really, really enjoy this exercise. heading home now, I'm gonna eat my post-workout in the car. Post-workout is, oh, I'm treating myself today. I've got cream of rice instead of cereal. So 120 grams of cream of rice with 30 grams of whey. The cream of rice is complete strength chocolate, I think. And the JP vanilla ice cream uh, performance whey. So yeah, that's my post-workout. And then uh, gonna get home and just chill for the rest of the day. Sunday is kind of a bit of a day of like setting myself up for the rest of the week uh, and it's also off-plan meal so I'm gonna go Tesco as well actually and choose what I'm gonna have 
but I'm going to finish the video here so I hope you enjoyed um, my training and a little bit of insight into kind of the things that I'm trying to work on with my own training um, and yes please like please comment please subscribe to my channel um, lots more content coming soon and yeah hope you enjoyed